CPAC is an annual gathering of American conservative activists. Taking place this year under growing tension with Moscow, I thought I'd find out what they thought of President Putin. He must be worse than that Obama fellow, right? Who's the worst president? <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard question. They're both tyrants. Oh, um, Obama, yeah. How would I solve this situation in the Ukraine with President Putin? Yeah. Well, we can't do massive air drops like we did in Berlin. Who's the worst president, Obama or Putin? Uh, I have to go with Obama. That's a very close call. Uh, I could say that there would be a tie for last place. But he's a Western. He's, a, he's one of the only Western leaders, many, many would say, standing up to conservative values. Yeah. But who's worse, President Obama or President Putin? At this point, as sad as this is to say, that question's very much up for debate. Who is worse? Yeah. Uh, I hate to make a choice between two evils. You look like a man who's going to do business with President Putin. How far along this map does he have to get to before America says stop? Um, gosh, I mean... Kind of, I don't know. Maybe Romania. <laughs> All right, we'll, yeah. t we'll let them know. Right now, the world is laughing at America. The world is laughing at our president because they do not take him seriously. So who's worse, Obama or Putin? Uh, Obama. Uh, Obama. Both have equally destructive policies. Barack Obama should consider making Vladimir Putin his defense secretary. Who's uh, the worst president, Obama or Putin? Obama, I Obama. guess. His people back him up, though, so he's got that going. I mean, I, wouldn't ag I don't agree with the guy, but he's got his country support. Well, how would you stand up to Russia again? The Eagle says it, it will soar across America. Thank you. Who do you think is the worst president, Obama or... Oh, or, yeah, or, or certainly, certainly in my lifetime. Do you think he's worse than President Putin in Russia? No con... well... Now, that's a, that's a toss-up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very anti-communist. I can tell. You know what's so uh, ironic about this vehicle, right? What's that? It says Americans for Prosperity and they're driving a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> A lady from a very small town in the hills of Tennessee subscribes to Spectator, and I get it newsletter every every week. I love it.